Hey there guys, this is Darren Stevenson and we're back with another video. I, I, str I strongly recommend before you start watching this video that you check out uh, one of my other videos on my channel. Uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Ban List uh, General Discussion video uh, where I discuss um, what needs to be done on this this coming ban list with uh, Farfa and some of the pro players. Uh, so I strongly suggest you watch this first before um, checking out this video because I'm not going to go into as much depth about what should be hit on the ban list in this video and more talk about what the title suggests of course uh, but before you check out this just video or finish off this video uh, be sure to check out Farfa's channel as well and also uh, check out Team Samurai X1's channel who's uh, let me upload um, this video onto his channel channel today so big shout out to him thank you so much he's been such a, an inspiration for me to start this channel and he's been so helpful ever since like i've known him just so supportive with um the, my channel as well so for those of you who are watching this uh, video on team samurai's channel here's my channel here be sure to uh, check out my videos i i have a lot of deck pro weekly deck profiles from when i go to regionals ycs's i most recently just topped the ycs in pasadena so there's my goki deck profile there and i also stream a lot on twitch uh so be sure to like check out my twitch streams be sure to follow so you can uh, get the notifications and know when i when i am streaming and you can also subscribe as well if you like the content because i do stream regularly and also the matches that i play on stream i uh put um those videos on my YouTube as well. Uh, again, uh, I want to apologize to all those, to all my current viewers that have been watching my Yu-Gi-Oh games uh, because the audio isn't the best. That's due to like uh, music that I've had to remove from the videos. But um, when I do upload a new a new uh, a match on my YouTube from when I stream, I won't be using uh, any like copyright music or anything like that. So you'll be able to like hear the audio this time. So again. Uh, apologies for that. So let's just get stuck in, really. Um, so, the title of this video, what, what does that suggest? So, the ban list is one of the most anticipated parts of Yu-Gi-Oh. It's probably the part, the part that people enjoy the most, just fresh new change and a demand for change when it's needed. But unfortunately, this time around, I just don't think, uh, not necessarily that the change isn't needed, I just don't think the change is happening. And that's not coming from a negative or a pessimistic point of view. I just don't think that it's very likely that we're going to get a ban list before YCS Milan. What we can all agree on is the main problem for the ban uh, that needs to be addressed on the ban list, which is what we go into a lot in in that ban list video right here, is the fact that like combo decks and firewall and gumbler and stuff like that are just too ridiculous. So let's have a look at like when we do a ban list. So our last updated list was on September 13th. This suggests that we are due a ban list on November 20th, 2018. But they give uh, their little uh, catchphrase there, no sooner than November 20th. So a ban list could literally drop a minute after I post this video, which will be very embarrassing. But the reason I made this video is because I am very confident that there isn't going to be a ban list. And the reason for that is this bit of product here, the Soul Fusion Special Edition. So why don't I think there's going to be a ban list because of this special edition? Well, let's look what's in the special edition. So you have Summon Sorceress. Finally, that uh, the, the Europeans and uh, Central and South Americans will be able to play Summon Sorceress, which is something I've been personally looking forward to because I really enjoy playing with Summon Sorceress. <laughs> I know, but I, I just really like it. Uh, also, uh, other reprints are Isolde, uh, another problem card I do... I must say, but a really good card nonetheless. And these two are going to be like really high impact set sellers. Other cards that are in this uh, set are that are new imports that we're getting early are Prank Kids Roxies. Uh, so, like, not really fitting um, the Summon Sorceress or his all day theme. That's probably just a, a card amongst itself that's going to be up for like the more of the casual players, I guess, because it's not really a meta deck. And then we have this card, New Space and Connector. <laughs> So this is a new card. Uh, so let's give it a read first of all. So new space and connector. Uh, whoever this Alan guy is, he's so, he's so sound. He just like makes English prints of these uh, foreign cards, and it just makes it like so lovely and enable like good to read. So I don't have to read a text. I can just read it next to a picture. So when this card is normal summoned, uh, so it only gets its effect when it's normal summoned, not when it's special enough as all day. 
You can special summon one Neos Spatian monster or one elemental hero Neos from your hand or deck in defense position, i.e. Neos Spatian Aquadolphin. We all know what that does. Uh, you, it takes a card out of that hand in case you didn't know. Uh, you can tribute. The, you can also tribute this card, then target one Neos Spatian monster or one elemental hero Neos in your graveyard. Special summon it in defense position. You can only use this effect of Neos Spatian Connector once per turn. So it's another card for combo decks. So it packages really well with Summon Sorceress and Isolde. Uh, so that means this particular set, uh, Soul Fusion Special Edition, is going to give combo decks specifically a boost. Uh, and that's exactly why I don't think there's going to be a ban list. Because if you just look at the problems, which I've already said, and if you've watched my video, you'll know in detail, combo decks are the problem, and it's what, that ne it's what needs to be addressed on the next list. But why on earth would they address that problem now? When they've got a special edition coming out that directly supports uh, combo decks by reprinting Summon Sorceress, Azolde, and also giving them support in Neo Space and Connector. This is just the harsh reality of it that it's a com it's a it's a business at the end of the day. M them making money comes first before our happiness, unfortunately. They want to make money off this product before we have a nice, lovely game. So that's why I think there won't be a ban list until after the special edition because they want to sell it to promote the combo decks uh, and get encourage people to play the combo deck because that that's what's going to make them the money this season, unfortunately. And why I don't think it's going to be before YCS Milan, well, let's check the, the launch date. Comes out 6th and the 7th of December. All right. When's YCS Milan? 8th and 9th of December. Literally comes out the weekend of YCS Milan. Which has been like a common common theme for uh, YCSs uh, lately. It's not something that I can't particularly have a problem with because, like, uh, if you want the business to do well, it makes sense to like put product on the same weekend as a Yu-Gi-Oh Championship series. I personally would prefer it like the week before so we have time to pick up the product, but whatever. Uh, I suppose they want um, the stores that uh, want to vend at the YCS to do well. So they have products out on the weekend. So the so this product in particular will sell loads at like the YCS Milan vendors and stuff. But yeah, I just think uh, it wouldn't be a good business decision to ban any of the combo cards like Firewall, Gumbla, Armor Knight, Mali and stuff like that. Because then, this, cause then if those decks just suck, then this product just won't sell. And that's just the harsh reality of it, unfortunately. I personally just don't think we're going to get a ban list before YCS Milan because it just doesn't make sense to. From a player perspective, yes, I really want those combo decks to be hit because they're just too powerful. Um, but if we are going to get a ban list, all they'll do is maybe neuter Sky Striker all the guys a little bit. And just to promote this, like maybe they want to hit the control deck slightly to make them weaker. So it promotes this so you have to play the combo decks. It's something they could do. And it's a, like, it's a reasonable business move for, for them to uh, want to do that. But you also could be thinking, oh, well, we don't have a ban list yet. They could just do it the Monday before the YCS, like they did at the 200th. Fair enough, they could do that. It's not completely out of the question for them to do that. But but remember that um, for the y, for the week for the weekend of YCS 200th, there wasn't any new product. So there was like, so there was like nothing to gain from not giving us a ban list. Uh, and they wanted us to have a nice fresh change for the 200 YCS since the format had been going on for quite a while. So it made sense to do the list then. I agree that the ban list has went on for a while now, but there's product to sell at the upcoming weekend. So I just don't see them doing that until like after YCS will land, or at least until this product sells. I do think at some point they will hit the combo decks, don't get me wrong. Uh, might, maybe not necessarily Firewall, maybe Summon Sorceress for us all day. Um, but as of right now, uh, since especially since Azoldi has been printed as an ordeal of a traveler map and reprinted in this set, I just don't see it happening, unfortunately. But uh, what do you guys think? Do you think I'm completely wrong, and you think they'll hit the combo decks before, and uh, but but make it so that they're good enough to play at the event, so this set will still sell? Or do you think that I'm right, and uh, we're just not going to get a list before YTS Milan? Or if you have any other opinions, just leave uh, your opinion in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, I've got a nice little YouTube channel here. Subscribe to it, please. <laughs> and I've also got a Twitch account as well, so be sure to follow and subscribe on that. Uh, thanks a lot, guys.
Uh, I'll see you later.